Hello. Welcome to EasyVB, Tutorial 14. In Tutorials 11 and 12, we learned about variables, and variable data types. In this tutorial we will learn a little more about variable declarations. When declaring a variable, we have a name, a selected data type, and optionally an initialization value. However, where we write the dim statement, to declare the variable, is also important, and we touched on this subject briefly in tutorial 4. Looking at the code again for tutorial 12, we can see that we declared all of the variables directly below the line, public class form 1, and before any of the subroutines. This is the variable declaration space, for the class, and when we declare variables here then they have an access level such that all subroutines functions, etc. of the class can use those variables. That is, read values from the variables, and pass new values to them. We will test this by example with a simple application, containing three buttons and a text box. We have one variable declared in the public class form one declaration space. dim, tut 14 string, as string, equals, tutorial 14, variable declarations. We have a click event for each button. The clear text button performs the function of its name and clears any text written in the text box. Both button 1, and button 2, perform the same function. They write the value of the variable, tut14 string, to the text box. Run the application to test this. We can observe that, clicking either button 1 or 2, writes the message in the text box, so the code in either of the button click subs can access the value of the variable, tut14 string. Now change the code slightly. We will use the button 2 click event to pass a new value to the variable, tut14 string. We will pass the value, a new message, to the variable. Run the application. Click button 1. Then click button 2, followed by button 1. We observe that text written to the text box, is now, a new message. Confirming we passed a new value to the variable tut14 string. So for the variables declared in the class declaration space, we have demonstrated that, we can both read their values, and pass new values to them from any subroutine in the class. OK. Now knock out to comment the variable declaration, and copy the declaration too within the button click event sub for button 1. Knock out to comment, the code of the click event for button 2. Run the application. It works fine as before, for writing the message to the text box. However, when we declare, a variable within the subroutine, it then becomes a local variable, which only has access level to be used within that subroutine. If we reintroduce the code in the click event sub for button 2, we can see that it is underlined red, and there is a message. Tut14 string is not declared. It may be inaccessible due to its protection level. If we try and run the application, we cannot, and we will get a message that, there were build errors. In fact, the variable, tut14 string, is declared, but it is declared as a local variable in the click event sub for button 1, and cannot therefore, be accessed from the click event sub for button 2. So we can now see the importance of the location for variable declaration statements. As a good standard practice, unless there is reason not to, it is best to declare all variables at the top of the code, in the class declaration space, and avoid variables declared locally in subroutines. Note that it is possible to declare, a class variable, and a local variable, with the same name. We can try this in our code. It works ok but having multiple variables with the same name, declared in different subs, or for the class, can be confusing in a large application. For this reason it is better to keep with recommended practice. Ok. One more detail of variable declarations to be aware of. When we write the declaration as dim, then the variable's access level, is by default, private, to the class or subroutine where it was declared. This means that another class or subroutine cannot use the variable. However, in the class declaration space, 
we can be more specific and declare the variable with private instead of dim or public. If we declare the variable as public, its access level is such that other classes may use the variable. There are other declaration types or modifiers such as protected, friend, protected friend, shared, shadows, static, read only, on with events. These are mentioned for awareness only at this point, but we may meet some of these later in the series. In fact we already met, static, local variable declaration way back in tutorial 1. In the next tutorial, we will return to, data types, and cover, the date data type, which we mentioned briefly at the end of tutorial 13. Thanks for watching. We hope this tutorial was useful. If it helped you, please like, share, and subscribe.